something really really weird happened yesterday and i was gonna film a video about this but i don't really want to set up my camera because i think it's too too much right i'm still quite afraid from all of this and i don't really know 100 percent what happened long story short i woke up this morning well it was afternoon went to an appointment checked my call logs and realized that what i dreamt had actually happened what i thought i dreamt was actually what had happened last night i can't remember anything after about eight o'clock yesterday um i had a dream well Apparently I didn't have a dream, but it was a dream to me um, about these people who were following me and they transformed into animals, but they went from being human first to invisible to like a ghost shape. And I can guarantee, I can guarantee this whole thing happened because of the state of my phone screen, because I've got quick knees and because of the call logs. Like these call logs are actually on my phone and I'm going to insert a screenshot here. It was, I don't know, I don't know what happened, I don't know, I don't even remember leaving my flight, I don't remember any of it. Like as from the perspective of it actually happening, I remember it as in me waking up this morning thinking, oh shit, that was a horrible dream, to realising that it actually happened. It's a scary situation, I don't really know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what it's about. But these fucking invisible dogs were chasing me, biting me, and, and trying to bite me, and I was, I was, I just, I don't know, I don't know at all. Troubling, it's troubling to think about. It's scary, 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 scary stuff. I really don't know what happened, and I'm very afraid of it. I don't know, I'm afraid to get to sleep again, because I don't know if it's going to happen again. I don't know if I'm going to actually dream I don't know, I'm afraid. I'm so afraid of it all. I'm really afraid. I don't know, I just, I don't know how to explain it. I don't really know what happened. It just feels like, it doesn't feel real, it wasn't real, but it was, and I don't know. It was such a vivid, vivid dream that, I don't know, it woke me up this morning and when I woke up, I was like, oh, it wasn't a dream because it actually happened because I got the call logs and the cuts and the bruises from it. My hair's a mess, I'm sorry. This is a really, really, really weird story. I don't even know where to start with this. I really don't know where to start. This story is really weird and I've never, you know this, I've never ever experienced something like this before. So, Monday night, not a long ago, we're on Wednesday. Feels like, like it's been weeks, but fuck me. Monday night, as far as I can remember, I fell asleep quite early. That's not the case, apparently. I had a dream. I don't know how to just say this. I think, I thought I had a dream. This wasn't a dream, this was what actually happened, but I thought it was a dream. So, I was dreaming. While I was asleep, obviously I think I fell asleep. I don't I remember being outdoors and seeing this man that was half invisible, or half ghost like invisible and half human. And it was fine, he was walking his dog, I didn't think anything of it, then it clicked in my head, I was like, there's only half a man there. And then I crossed the road. If everyone it's actually happened, I mean I was completely out of it. Because I thought I, I genuinely thought this was a dream. I woke up and I thought it was a dream. I went to an appointment, checked my calls, I was like, oh fuck the calls that I thought I dreamt actually fucking happened. And I spoke to the building like security guy. Like yesterday, and I was like, what the hell happened to me on Monday? He's like, oh, well, you were left with paramedics about midnight. I was like, I can't even remember being awake at midnight. He's like, no, he was pretty out of it. I was like, yeah, no kidding. So apparently I went to a uni. I don't really recall going to a uni, but I went to a uni, apparently. Then I left. Well, obviously, I left at some point. Um, walked out. Must have gone a different way because I don't have any any recollection of what happened. It's mind boggling. So this guy, this man was stood there with his dog and he just went invisible, ghosty, invisible, so I crossed the road. And then he transformed into an animal that was chasing me and I ran into a random street. I don't even know where it was. And then what, it started happening to more people. Like, no, I was full on hallucinating. These were full on hallucinations. And I can't back this up because there was a police log. Google more it, it was the Zoppy clone. The Zoppy clone has been making me hallucinate. Um, so these creepy things were following me. I ran, I don't, I must have ran like fucking, I fell asleep. I fell asleep. I was walking and then the, all these animals were chasing me. There was humans. And then these birds started flying off a lamppost into me. And when I say it was fucking terrifying, it was terrifying. So I called the police because I was like, this is going to sound crazy, but these things are following me. These things are chasing me. They're actually like trying to kill me. And I was so convinced they was going to kill me. That I just ran and I, I'm really unfair. I was running and then I can't recall everything. I can't remember anything that the police said. I know the police were there. And the police straight me back in. I just don't know what happened. But that was... I've got to say that's the worst thing. I, I, don't, no, I genuinely don't know. I don't recall any of it. To me, it's a dream. I don't recall it first person. I recall it from a dream perspective. It's fucking weird. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, yesterday, it just terrified me. That's why I slept most of the day. Um, to the right day, I spoke to the police. I spoke to my GP. Apparently, Zoppy clone can have that effect on people. When, you, when you've been asleep and get woken up early, and then try and function, and you apparently completely dissociate from the situation. 
But the only thing that scares me is that maybe that's happened before because I don't know, I don't know, I just feel like it's happened before. Maybe I don't know. Um, to experience that is definitely weird though, it's a lot, it's intense, it's hard and I don't really know what happened. I've been trying to find out what happened but I don't know. To vividly remember something that much from a dream, it was a lot of fear so I just went along with my day and went to an appointment and then I, che I was going for my phone and checking my call log and I was like, what the fuck, these calls actually happened. Like, it's like full on like 20 to 30 minute conversations. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's a bit weird. But I fell on dissociate from the situation. Like, I wasn't there, I was dreaming it. And then I woke up the day after, which was Tuesday. And I was like, shit man, like something actually happened. But I didn't know it. So maybe I woke up from a dream, it was just a dream. Which isn't what happened. And that's a scary thought because I'm now very afraid of meetings. I was like, even last night I ended up calling Serenity. It was like, a whole situation from Monday night slash Tuesday morning has genuinely terrified me because my thinking now is that could happen at any point. Like, not only is it terrifying, it's also dangerous. It's also anything could have happened to me. Like I said, in the dream, I crossed a road. Like I could have been hit by a fucking car. I have no recollection of it at all. And I remember falling over in the dream. I remember hitting the floor in the dream and lacking out in the dream. But I don't remember what actually happened. That to me is just the most terrifying thing ever because it could happen at any point, any time, and I wouldn't know it. And what if it has happened? It could have happened in the past. I don't know. But also in consideration, consideration though, I have had a very, very, very stressful weekend. Um, I ended up running out, I ended up leaving Preston to try and get away from the NHS because then there was a doctor trying to section me. So I fucked off to Man. Well, I was going to get to Leeds, but I got to Manchester. I went to Manchester, the, the fucking transport police, 136 me. So I got assessed in Manchester and they, they drove me back, which fucking thank you. They drove me back from Manchester to Preston, which I do appreciate, but that situation is a whole other, I'll talk more about that another day. But this whole dissociative episode, I'm going to call it. Like I said, I don't even remember leaving the build this building, let alone going to A&E and then leaving and then all that happening and not realising it. I don't know, I'm just very afraid of all of that. It does, it's, it's, it's scary. Um, but I what's got to remember is on, during Monday day I had that fucking appointment, which the amount of stress that caused me. I wouldn't be, I'm not gonna lie, I am gonna blame that for most of this. This whole episode, I'm blaming it on that fucking appointment, the amount of stress it caused me. Over something that could have been dealt with over the fucking phone. Or they could have been more specific in the letter, so it didn't cause me anxiety. And I'm gonna make a whole video talking about that because I think it's fucking ridiculous. I wish I knew what happened to me. So yesterday I was just, I was kind of getting over it a bit. I was also asleep a lot of the day. I think I was asleep until about four or five in the evening and then I'm afraid to serenity for a bit talking about the situation and then I fell back asleep. I ended up turning my phone off yesterday. Um, the whole situation really has just, I don't know, it's kind of terrified me as such. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Fucking hell. Something else.